Mary Ann Bennell, naturalist with City of Aurora's Parks, Recreation and Open Space Department. You may not realize it, but Aurora's Urban Forest works year-round to create and maintain healthy environments for people, nature and community. Aurora's Urban Forest comprises planted trees in yards, along our streets and in our parks, as well as thousands of volunteer trees that thrive in our open space and natural areas. One essential task in maintaining a healthy urban forest is proper pruning of city and private trees. I invite you to join me for the next few moments as we learn together about the art and science of proper pruning technique. As healthy and helpful as they are, sometimes trees need a little help from us. Proper pruning of nuisance or low-lying branches helps keep the planted trees of the urban forest beautiful and healthy. Here to help us with the basics of healthy pruning techniques is City Forester John Wesolowski. Good morning, John. Good morning, Marianne. Healthy and safe pruning is a science as much as it is an art. Every pruning cut that is made has potential to affect the growth of the tree. So make sure you have a good reason for pruning. Good reasons for pruning include removing dead branches, removing branches that are crossing, rubbing, or interfering with each other, or removing lower branches for clearance issues. Foresters use a simple guide to determine if live branches should be removed. Less than two inches, go ahead. Between two and four inches, think twice. Ask yourself, is there a specific reason why this branch needs to be removed? Greater than four inches, have a good reason and seek professional assistance. Before pruning any tree, consider your safety and the safety of your neighbors. Never prune trees that are touching or near utility lines. Remember to wear proper protection for your eyes, hands, and body. Proper safety gear includes a hard hat, gloves, and safety glasses. Now pruning is a three-step process, and the first step is making an undercut on the branch you want to remove about 10 inches away from the trunk. This is an undercut that is made about one-third through the branch. This cut prevents further damage to the trunk. Cut number two is made about an inch further out on top of the branch. Cut here until the branch breaks free. For the health of the tree, it is important to get cut number three just right. Before making this cut, it is essential to locate where the branch ends and the trunk begins. Trunk tissue closes over the pruning cut, so you don't want to harm it in any way. Some trees have a prominent swelling at the base of the branch called a branch collar. If you can't find a branch collar, Look for the branch bark ridge. This is a ridge of bark that is located above the branch you are pruning. Once this branch bark ridge is located, you can determine where the branch should be cut. This is some really terrific information, John. I'm learning a lot about the basics of how to prune a tree. And I can tell by the way you made that cut that you've pruned a few branches in your career. I've made a few cuts before. So I have a question for you though. What if the tree that needs pruning is a city tree and not a private tree? I can just call the forestry division and you guys will be out right away to take care of the problem, right? That's not exactly right. The forestry division switched to a grid pruning system. Let me tell you why and how that system works. Over 45,000 trees in Aurora's urban forest are city trees. Do you know a city tree when you see one? City trees are deciduous or leafy trees. They are planted in front of single family homes, usually in a straight line within five feet of the sidewalk or in a planting strip between the street and the sidewalk. With over 45,000 living and breathing city trees to take care of, we have a more organized approach to city tree care. Using a grid system, the forestry division prunes each city tree once every 10 years in a planned, systematic, and economically efficient cycle. 10 years seems like a really long time to wait. What can I do if I have a branch that I want pruned sooner than that? You can call the forestry division and request an inspection of the tree. If the tree needs immediate pruning, the forestry division will take care of it as soon as they can schedule the work. If the issue is merely clearance pruning or a low hanging limb that is less than 15 feet from the ground, you have two options. You can hire a private licensed arborist to do the work or you can try your hand at pruning yourself. This has been some really terrific information, John. I appreciate your help. I've learned a lot about how to prune trees. If you'd like more information on how to properly prune trees, please visit our website at auroragov.org forward slash trees. Remember, only prune trees located on your property. It's not legal to remove, damage, or kill a city, street, or park tree. Remember, they are working hard to grow a healthy community for you.